Yeah, we'll start with the second one. Effort for them, 
And after that, if they are okay with the result, they have to pro uh, publish it in an online repository called ADI. It's the online repository of our university. But there are a lot more uh, online repositories. If you read this paper, it's called the Repositorios Institucionales from Transito Ferreras in 2018, there are more or less 80 repositories here. And one of them is our own repository. Uh, they have to, our students need to publish there if the final degree project is okay. And they uh, publish there their preprints, PhD thesis, master sessions, research results, and so forth. And also the final degree project memory. So, what's the problem with this, this one? Okay, we have analyzed a lot of memories, a lot of technical reports. And we have seen that in many cases there are uh, low quality technical writings error. Uh, there are some uh, cases of plagiarism, there are some cases of where the um, bibliography and the citations are not okay, and there are also some synthesis problems or problems to summarize the information. And it seems incredible, but also spelling and grammar errors. Uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, tools right now, nowadays, to solve these kind of uh, problems, but I don't know why our students have this kind of problems, even today. So, we think that uh, we can uh, provide an application, a solution, if we integrate our, our computer application inside the tool that they use, that our students use. And so, we, we thought that we can at least solve this one, this one, and this one. Okay? So, <laughs> trying to solve inside a mobile assistant, in a mobile chatbot. Okay, so, so what's a chatbot? Do you know what's a chatbot? Have you ever used a chatbot? Okay, it's a computer program that simulates sim uh, conversations with human beings. But it's a computer. It's a computer program. Okay? It's software. So, you can use a chatbot for trying to ask something in WhatsApp, in Telegram, in Instagram, and, but the best, and, and the chatbot will answer you, but in our opinion, the best tool is this one, Telegram, because it's very similar to WhatsApp, and it, it offers a solution, an API, a service to integrate chatbots there. So for us, it's the best one. Okay, so how? How are you going to integrate a chatbot trying to solve those problems, all, all those problems? Okay, first, we have to gather all the reports that we want to analyze, gather from the internet, from the ADI or any other official repository, and extract the PDF, the PDF format, okay? And also, uh, also the metadata, the author, the date, the title, the URL, okay? But this is not enough, right? we, we need to analyze the text, the, the text file, not the PDF file. Analyzing PDFs is very difficult, so we need to analyze the text and analyze the images. Okay? So, why the images? Because the plagiarism, in many cases, is not a plagiarism of text, but of images. Uh, students tend to uh, grab uh, images from the internet and use the images without proper credit, without giving credit. So, fortunately, we need to employ one application with open source or free uh, licenses. So, fortunately, we have found PDF to text and PDF images. With the first one, we can extract the text from the uh, PDF, and with this one, we can extract the images from the PDF. So we now the text, we <coughs> now have the text and have the images. Now what? Well, we want to uh, integrate some kind of module to compare to text and mm, detect some kind of plagiarism. So we use this, we use it text matcher. TextMatcher is an open source software, and you can use TextMatcher as this. You use the first memory, you give to TextMatcher the first memory text, the second memory text, and it, it will give you the total number of matches found. So this is a real case. And as you can see, as you can see, this is a real case of pliers. So 156 total matches found between two texts of two real memories. And not only that, but TextMatcher also gives you some excerpts of the matches, of the collisions. 
So this is a very interesting to detect plagiarism, text plagiarism. What about image plagiarism? We can use Google Cloud Vision API. This is a service offered by Google that uh, allows you to upload any kind of image that you have found in a text in a memory and Google will give you in result a, a set of URLs. Google is saying, okay, that image that you have given me is already in the internet there and there and there. So we can grab those URLs and search for them in the text of the memory. And if they aren't, it's a supposedly a case a case of image plagiarism because students have to uh, give credit, give the URL of the at least the URL of the original image. You know? <laughs> okay. So if if we found any of these, we say okay, this, that's no problem. But if we haven't found any of them, we will warn the user uh, with the channel. The channel will say will tell to the user. Okay, uh, I have found this image, and this image is related to those URLs, and those URLs aren't present in your memory. So we have a problem here. Yeah? And the student <laughs> will decide if it's correct or not. Uh, two last modules, one, one, the, one of them is the spell checker and grammar checker. We, we need one module for doing this. Okay, so we have Fortunately, we have found this. It's uh, also ready uh, free software. It's called Language Tool. If you have used uh, LibreOffice, I don't know, LibreOffice, have you used? They use, no? LibreOffice is the alternative to Microsoft Office. And in LibreOffice, uh, you can use this language checker tool. And it will give you the grammar and the spell errors. And fortunately, this tool has a server mode. So you can use language tool as a server, and in that case, uh, you can uh, upload your memory, the students can upload their memories in any format, PDF, Word, whatever, and we will convert it to text, and then uh, give language tool those text, this text, and language tool will give us a set of possible spelling and grammar errors. Not only that, but we have integrated those grammar and spelling errors with our chatbot and our, chat, our chatbot, chatbot will tell the user okay, this, uh, this sentence has an error there it's in Spanish in Spanish you can say mensajes with G <laughs> you, need, you need a J okay? and in the case of a grammar error it will give you not only the solution but also the explanation why is that an error? Okay? so the, the students will slowly, step by step improve their memories automatically without the without the work of the teacher. These two last slides <laughs> and one this is one of them is to detect a badly referenced bibliography. Sometimes we have found this kind of references in real memories. This is a very generic <coughs> video uh, reference. You can you can't say that you, you have used you have used Wikipedia. You have to say at least a specific page. You have to cite a specific page. So how to detect that? Okay, we have resorted to a simple uh, trick. We extract, we have already the text, the plain text, and then apply some regular expressions to extract all the URLs, and then apply a set of predefined URLs to say, okay, if the student has cite only an dot wikipedia.org or something like that, we will warn the user. We will tell the student, this is not possible, please check it. Perhaps it's an it's error, and not yours, but please check it. And finally, we, we are publishing all our memories in official repositories, and we want to, at least, we, we will want to at least some student read those repositories and use those memories. And we will want, if possible, to cite our official repository or any other repository of Spain, of, of the world. So we will check for also for this kind of URLs. It should appear. Okay? So this kind of URLs 
don't need to have or shouldn't appear. And on the contrary, this kind of rep, uh, URLs should appear. And you can, that, this is the last slide, you can use our chatbot, please. Uh, we want uh, beta testers. <laughs> so if you use Telegram, it's just a kind of uh, other user. So you can search for a custom bot. It's, a, it's like a regular user. And the custom bot will give you this menu. And in, on this menu, you have a lot of commands. And you can say, OK, uh, I want to add my uh, finally deployed memory. And, or I want that you correct, please fix, please, my final degree uh, memory project. And it will interact with you just uh, by typing commands. OK? And please, if we are searching for evaluators or for uh, users, so please use it. It's only for the moment, it's only in Spanish and in English. But it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, thanks. I'm Thank sorry. You very much. <laughs> so, thank you very much for the presentation. Any questions? Please. No? Oh, <laughs> yes, I have one. Uh, of course. Uh, thank you for our presentation. I think it's a very useful tool mm -hmm. for everyone. Um, um, I have a question about confidential issues. Yeah. Uh, you won't want something, so mm -hmm. do you have any concern about? Uh, okay, uh, when you upload something to my channel, you, are, uh, you and me are the only ones that can access that information. Ah, okay. And I ask my students to, I explain to my students that that's the case. So uh, if someone from the internet or from the world tries to access your information, it will, it will be forbidden for them. It's not possible to access uh, another people's information without uh, without my permission. Yes, because I think a student is submitting a final report and it's not uh, published yet, so it's yeah. somehow... Yeah, <laughs> ah, yeah that's a problem. <laughs> uh, it's a working process. They are trying to uh, write the, the memory and while they are writing, they submit uh, the memory to the channel and my channel will be fixing those issues. So yes, it's a work in progress for them. Uh, it's not published yet, so it could be a real problem. Mm -hmm. okay. um, thank you and very um, useful work. Uh, I will be testing. <laughs> thank you. of uh, narrowing integration and extra motivation for our students, which is, uh, in fact, very needed. Um, we give students of the first curriculum year a very short uh, and first presentable contact with civil engineers and civil engineering, and we try to show them uh, several different career options that they, they have uh, and that they're normally not uh, aware. Uh, this is an initiative that comes uh, with, with several others which we're trying to implement uh, to, to solve or tackle some of the problems we've been facing. Uh, the, some of other previous uh, initiatives are over there, strategies for student recruitment, strategies this lesson to, uh, global, uh, to increase the global appeal of, of the degree. Uh, the main problems we, we've been tackled uh, or 
faced uh, in the past uh, few years is uh, pretty clear from, from, from this shot over here. Uh, you, you can see that's uh, starting in around uh, uh, 2011 to 2012, uh, we had this is at the national level and at the, uh, the national competition for access for, for a education. We had for, uh, in civil engineering uh, about uh, 1,200 students uh, each year, uh, or up, up to that moment uh, was the, the common values. And then uh, with the, 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 the very serious crisis we had in Portugal, the, the number uh, has increased in short, uh, three or four years, uh, has decreased from 1,200 to about 200 students enrolled in civil engineering. For that for national, uh, the, these are national values. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, ISEP, we, we have decreased from about 150 to one student. And that's not Africa, not uh, we, we could cope with that. The, the solution has been, uh, has been improving in the, 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 the more, more recent years. We, we, uh, Increased the number of students at the uh, national level and uh, at ISEP, uh, but we're now at about uh, after the, 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 the values we had in 2011, about 600 uh, students. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, students uh, at ISEP would, would represent about uh, slightly more than 10% of the students in civil engineering, they were going to 54 to about uh, 1200, and now we are again at about 10% of, of students in civil engineering in Portugal. Um, it seems that the problem will have been tackled, the problem had, had been, but in fact we still have a problem. Uh, and these are the numbers of the total numbers of, of students at, at the at civil engineering at ISEP, and it has decreased obviously up to 2014-15, but then it's continued decreasing and we should be at least not, not going back to, to, to the values we had before, but we should start to revert in the, this, this is the short. But in fact, we, we aren't. Uh, maybe we, we can try to see better for, for here. These are the, the number of vacancies and the number of, of placements we had. Uh, back in 2011-12, we had about 130, uh, I told you, you showed you about 154. There are slight, slight differences because the, the, it has to do with the, the number of uh, uh, phases that we have in, in our system in Portugal. Uh, from those 130, then we, we decreased to, I showed you before, these, the, 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 the same number of vacancies, but the, the placement is very low. And then uh, we, we increased back. Uh, here in 2016, we, have, we matched the placements with, with, with the vacancies. But this should have been solved out of our, our, our problem. The, the problem lies mainly in this small line over here. The, this is the, the number of placements of students that chose uh, civil engineering as their first option. It could be first or, or second option, sometimes it depends a little bit on, on, the, on the schools they're choosing, but the, the main problem is whether if they're choosing uh, civil engineering as a career, because they do, do want civil engineer, or if they're choosing uh, civil engineer as a backdoor for, for entering the high, high school. And it, it's, it could be one of two things, either that the students were uh, dropping out, it was very common in, in, the, in, the, in the year of the, the crisis we had, this is, several problems due even, due even to economic situations, but it, it could be uh, a different reason, it could be a, a much larger uh, transfer of uh, students, students that were applying to, to transfer to other, to other degrees and were using uh, civil engineering, which is probably that, that to be the case. And uh, we also, in, in that study, we, we also had uh, the evidence that most of the students apply for transfer between the first and second curriculum year. So the, what we tried was to implement this initiative. It's an initiative. It was applied for the first time, so we don't have much data or a very reduced amount of data. Uh, it was applied for the first time uh, last year, and it was it's exclusive for students in the first curriculum year. Um, activities uh, were not very easy to, to, to schedule uh, because we, there are several problems in terms of capitalization of, of, the, of the schedules. We had uh, about 15 to 16 activities. It's between that. Actually, in, in the end, we, we, had, we had only 14 actually. Uh, 
uh, students could register up to two initiatives, but uh, I think you know, most, most of them didn't. Most of the activities, most of the activities were, were do with visiting to construction sites, visiting to, to construction companies, uh, landmarks, uh, stuff like that. This is a visit to a landmark. It's, it's one of the highest buildings in Portugal. Uh, it's the capital communications tower. Uh, one of the things we wanted to do, you can see from here, there are three students and one teacher over there. So we wanted very small uh, groups in order to, to have a direct and the first uh, first level uh, inter interaction with the students. This is a uh, panel of other companies that uh, participated in this initiative. In the end, we had uh, 14 uh, companies uh, with 14 activities and a, a total of 31 students. Um, activities lasted between December 2018 and July 2019. 2019. Problems that, that was okay. Uh, relatively high number of students and relatively high number of, of companies. It's, it was not very uh, easy to get only our, our staff is this is very reduced, so it was hard to, to manage and cope with, with, the, with all those, those problems. Uh, well, the capitalization of, of shares was uh, a very hard problem to, to solve. Uh, actually, the students don't have uh, much time. We have uh, seen Wednesdays and Fridays for, for, for those activities, but in the end, uh, uh, it was very difficult to, to have uh, time slots. Uh, we tried to, to monitor the, the activity with uh, some student inquiries. And quite uh, commonly, uh, uh, we have very, very reduced participation, about one third of the students. So the 31 participants, we have 11 answers. All the answers of this small uh, representation is, are, are positive. The students are uh, generally on, on the questions that they were asked very satisfied or totally satisfied, uh, but it's still a very short number of answers. Uh, we have some informed audits with companies, they showed relatively uh, or generally positive uh, opinions, except for two of them, where the, 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 the activities in the end didn't, didn't happen, one of them because it was just, just weren't, weren't absent. Uh, the initiative was, okay, in terms of conclusions, uh, consider it generally considered positive, we will try it uh, this year again, uh, and we at least we have some good news. Um, you can see here, this is the problem, uh, mainly the problem we had. The number, the number of student transfers uh, from our degree to other degrees. Uh, in 2016-17, we had 70 students asking for transfer. Uh, next year, 31. So 31 is about 40% of all students. It's too much. And uh, last year, we only had seven. So this is good news. Uh, we're not innocent, in <laughs> and we're not saying this is this is the, uh, our initiative. No, uh, it's more mainly because the interest of students in, in, in civil engineering is growing, and uh, the, the the number of students with uh, choosing uh, civil engineering as their first option is growing. So it's definitely it's it's the main reason. But we like to think that at least we have, we have a positive, a slight positive contribution. Okay, future developments for this year, we're trying to, to enlarge a little bit the, the number of students. We had two to four, but uh, it was obvious that uh, on a visit, if one of the students would drop out, the other one wouldn't go because they wouldn't go, want to, to go alone. So we're trying to, to enlarge, but still to, to small, small reduced uh, numbers, up to six, unless the, 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 the companies ask for something different. We improved, tried to improve the capitalization of, of schedules. Uh, Try to start earlier because we managed to work with last year. I told you we had one in December, but it was just one in December, so we're trying to, to, to uh, set it, start it earlier. We are having a meeting with the students in two to three weeks. And uh, mainly we were trying to work a little bit on the students' participation, both on, on the activities and the, the international enterprise. Um, do you think that there are any relation between the decreasing of number of students and the decreasing of uh, the work itself uh, as a civil engineer, the standard work? I mean, right now the, the role of civil engineers changed a lot 
compared to five, six years ago. So do you think that there is also an influence on this changing in the students' perspective? So they are not choosing it because they don't see exactly the profession? Right, so definitely. Uh, one of the problems we do we are also trying to solve this. The, we, we come to the conclusion that they have a completely wrong idea of what <laughs> civil engineering is. Actually, I think of all civil engineers. Uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess this is, but in civil engineering, they, they most of the time say, okay, this is just this is building houses. But it's a lot more. And um, this is one of the other things that we try to do uh, very early in the, in the, because it's the first year, the, the year with the property to the, the mathematics and the physics. Uh, and you know, try to show them, okay, uh, civil engineering is a lot more than this. Uh, so maybe you can find, on this, on this the broader choice, you can find something that really interests you. So this is part of the solution or, or the, the, our idea. Uh, the main, the main problem is, in fact, that that, that, that the idea on civil engineering and the problem with with um, that very strong crisis we had that was mostly influenced uh, uh, or had uh, very deep impact on on construction companies and the construction in general. And uh, civil engineering is is not the most uh, up to date uh, in, of the engineers, informatics and the electro um, uh, electrotechnics is um, much more uh, up to date. Or look, uh, they look much more up to date, and so they, they tend to see as a traditional, very uh, uh, awkward and very dirty uh, specialization. And this is part of the, of the, of the okay. It was still dirty because uh, <laughs> working with the company is actually, but. Uh, we try to, to change it a little bit and show them that there are new technologies like BIM, like uh, uh, using s uh, machine learning in, 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 in the civil engineering and stuff like that. So to, to, to try to change a little bit uh, that idea. And do you show this uh, new part of curriculum inside the orientation phase activity so that the students are aware before choosing like as a first choice uh, or is a surprise for them? Uh, I, think, I think it's a surprise for them. Okay. Uh, I think we, we don't have, uh, it's very hard, and uh, we tried that with, with the other um, initiatives when, when we were actually uh, recruiting in 2014 and 15, when we, when we had problems in recruiting students. Uh, we had uh, closer contact with the students uh, at school and we could try to show them. It's not very easy because they normally it's hard for them to, to understand some of the concepts and, and to, to see that actually we, we, we as uh, a science, as, as, a, as a branch of, of engineering, uh, can at least be almost as up to date uh, or try to, to, to be the, but it's nowadays uh, that the, we're reducing that contribution or that, that can be early contact in, in, the, in, the, um, in the secondary school. Uh, so we, we lo we're losing a little bit that earlier uh, contact. Mm -hmm. coming in is increasing so the, the situation is probably getting better but after seeing that that are the shot uh, with the students still decreasing or, or, or uh, getting more or less uh, constant that's when we, when we actually, actually uh, so when we actually had uh, an end uh, that thing wasn't, wasn't working so there were more than the the, the, the problem was deeper than, than just students coming in <coughs> or having students choosing them. So, so there should be something. 
so we we'll started to, we'll start to study that, that, that information, and that's when we really said, okay, students are coming in, but the, the, the number of the total number of students in the degree uh, we used to be the, the, those number that chart over there was the 900 or almost 1,000 to 340 or whatever um, is for the total number of students in the, the, the three curricular years. Mm -hmm. So the, if the number is not increasing and, and the, the, we are getting more students, what's happening? That, that when, when, when we decided that so we had an end uh, because we couldn't see students and the, the, we couldn't have uh, more classes and uh, the classes were desertified. Uh, uh, we, we were not expecting to, to, to get like to the, the, the 1,000 or whatever. Uh, we're about, uh, in terms of, of students enrolling, we have about just after the, the, the number. So, but it should at least converge to 400, 500. Uh, we have 1,000 after, it's 500. So, uh, it, it should converge to the 500. Okay, uh, it's a situation we have. But nationally, we're having uh, half of the students. So, if we're going to half the students, it's, it's okay. We're in the, in the average. But, you know, so the, the, the problem is actually, the, the, and that's our interpretation. Um, they're using civil engineering, which has lower degrees, uh, low, low, uh, sorry, lower classifications to, in order to, to enter the, the, the um, high school. They, they're using civil engineering as a vector. And yeah. try, they, it's they common can, to other schools. Sorry? It's common to other schools. Yes, it's not yes. only at Isaac. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know, uh, I'm aware of that, but uh, okay, that's, this is what we are trying to do, to at least try to, to understand and do a minimum to try to, to cope with the situation. This happens in several courses, we are just seeing it all at once. If I have something, this is the part to present. But this cycle, they are very common in other parts of what they are. Yes. And, and, and it's, in civil engineering, it's the same. We normally have cycles of about 10 to 15 years. 10 to 20 years. The next, 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 presentation. <clears throat> the authors couldn't be here so they sent a video. That's why I won't try and start it. Okay. It's from IZEP, Waste to Fungi and an EPS at IZEP 2019 project. <laughs> Thank you. 